weather with Damian Lotus. Well, if you like sunny skies and highs in the 90s, you're going to love my forecast here for the next couple of days. But if you're wishing for some more fall like weather, you're going to have to keep wishing for a while because this pattern is going to be sticking around for a while. But before we get into the forecast, I'm going to start you off with the best video I have here. This is taken from our foresight drone and pilot, Mark Dillard. Look at this. This is a video of the sunset here for this evening. I always say you cannot beat an Oklahoma sunset. So Mark was out and about here this evening and got this and you can see a little bit of that cloud coverage there off on the right hand side of your screen. We did have some thunderstorms across the Oklahoma panhandle earlier this evening and even stretching into tonight. But overall, the good news is not really going to be much of a severe threat. And as you can see, nice clear skies here from our foresight drone. And that's continuing right now because as we look at our time lapse over the last hour, you can see Nice clear skies here for Oklahoma City. Temperature wise, we got up to 91 degrees today. So another hot afternoon here for the state of Oklahoma. And not only were the temperatures high, the allergens were high as well. Ragweed, we're in the thick of ragweed season. Yesterday was in the alert category. So I guess if there's a little bit of a silver lining, good news, it's not in the alert for today, but it's still a very bad allergy report. In addition to the ragweed, that stubborn mold spore count is still high as well. And also the grass and tree pollen are in the moderate category. So here's the latest with our storm scanner. Mostly clear skies across the majority of the state, across northern and northwestern Oklahoma. There's still a couple scattered showers, even some rumbles of thunder continuing, but overall just good old fashioned rain. No chance of severe weather here for tonight. And for Oklahoma City, we have clear skies and 73 degrees with calm winds outside. Pretty mild conditions here for tonight. Across the rest of central Oklahoma, I'm tracking a mix of 60s, 70s. We even had some 80s about 15 minutes ago for Moore and Norman. Across the rest of the state, 50s, or I wish 50s, right? 60s, 70s, 77 right now up in Ponca City. We could see some 50s here for tonight for overnight lows, but overall it looks like tonight isn't going to be quite as mild as what I was tracking this morning. Overnight lows will be in the low to mid 60s, which is well above where we're supposed to be for tonight. 64 degrees, my forecast low for Oklahoma City. So as we head the, throughout the day tomorrow, heading out the door, temperatures will be in the upper 60s during that morning drive time. Lots of sunshine and will already be in the mid 80s by lunchtime tomorrow. And highs will once again climb into the 90s. My forecast high of 92 degrees for Oklahoma City. Our record high for tomorrow is 96 set back in 1953. We're not going to quite be that hot, but we could possibly see some triple digits in southwestern Oklahoma, getting up to 92 here for the metro. In addition to the temperatures, in addition to the allergens being high, the winds will be high and it is dry outside. So when you get that combination of those two things, fire danger will be elevated here for central and western parts of the state. And then the temperatures really start to skyrocket on Thursday. Now Thursday's record high is 104. We're not going to be anywhere near that. So that's a little bit of good news, but we could see some triple digits across southwestern Oklahoma. And if there's any day this week we could actually threaten a record high temperature, it'll be on Friday. My forecast high of 93. The record is 96 set back in 1977. So that's going to be the one day we could flirt with setting a new record high temperature. And this is going to be the rainfall as we head throughout the weekend. And what you see right there is not a lot, but that's going to be about it. And that'll be on Saturday across the Oklahoma panhandle. So in the meantime, with your seven day forecast, lows tonight will dip into the mid 60s. It'll be a mild start, but then tomorrow afternoon, we're going to be on a rinse and repeat forecast. Sunday Sunny skies, highs in the 90s, lows in the 60s, a very summertime forecast here as we head throughout the first official week of fall. So I know everyone out there is wanting the more crisp air, but all I'm going to say is you're going to have to wait for a while. And <laughs> don't put up the sunscreen. Not yet. All right. Thanks, Damien. Thank you.